Hey guys, this is your eyes to and to review the Leapin Lego League Star Wars The Last Jedi Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter. So, uh, this is the box uh, right here, and as you can see, it, it's a pretty big box, and uh, it's uh, recommended for just uh, 6 and up, and comes with uh, 705 pieces, and this is at uh, 05127, and comes with uh, 4 minifigs, uh, which are Kylo Ren, BB9E, the, a Stormtrooper and a First Order uh, Special Forces TIE Fighter Pilot. And yeah, uh, so as you can see, they copied the box art from uh, LEGO. And yeah, but this is the top. You got the handle and you got the actual size of the figure. So this is the side of the box. And this is the other side. And yeah, they just basically copied uh, LEGO's uh, box original box and this is the bottom of the box so this is the back uh, right here and as you can see it shows you all of the features of the set and uh, of the poses uh, for the figures but aside from that uh, that's pretty much it for the box and inside it has a very big crate so this is the big instruction manual right here you know the size of the book is uh, pretty big but yeah uh, it's it has a uh, number of bags and yeah the build and stuff they are they are all just uh, very simple uh, comes with uh, two stickers and the stickers are sticked right here but yeah so this is the final page and this is the back pretty much the same as the box but um, yeah aside from that uh, that's pretty much it for the instructions so here are the extra pieces of uh, this set here so you got uh, this Technic connector you got extra hand and you got uh, a bag of these which are extra pieces from the uh, from the factory I guess but yeah, they are just um, very simple pieces. You got a stud, you got this cylinder piece, you got a couple of uh, Technic pieces, you got uh, this extra hand as well. But aside from that, uh, that's pretty much it for the extra pieces. So first off, uh, figures, uh, this is Kylo Ren. So he has uh, the cross guard lightsaber, which is uh, pretty cool that Lee Pin made it. And yeah, uh, so the face print here is uh, very accurate to the official Lego one. But it's just that uh, it's uh, too low from the hair, so it looks uh, kind of weird, but you know, it's still okay. And yeah, uh, the torso print is um, very nice, you know, you got the chainmail armor, you got the, the belt, and the leg printing is uh, also very nice. And uh, he has uh, the cape, which is uh, pretty low quality, they could have made it out of a better material. But yeah, this is a leap pin, so what do you expect? But yeah, uh, the back face print thing uh, is um, also very nice. Uh, you got this uh, angry expression, which uh, which is uh, better printed, I guess, because uh, it's uh, the printing is higher, so you know it looks uh, better. But yeah, so you got the back torso print, which is just more chainmail armor and the belt. But aside from that, uh, that's pretty much it for Kylo Ren. So the second figure here is uh, BB-9E. So as you can see, Lee Pin used the, the BB-8 head uh, because I'm not sh I'm not quite sure why they used the BB-8 head, but uh, it's supposed to be a flat kind of flat shaped head so yeah it's uh, inaccurate but uh, they are basically the same type so yeah but you know you got uh, all the printing there you know you got the eyes and stuff and you know the head printing is uh, pretty good but um yeah it's uh it's uh, pretty basic and you got the um, the kind of body print and i believe all sides are the same got the same printing but um yeah, uh, like aside from that, that's uh, pretty much it for BB-9E. And the third figure here is the First Order Stormtrooper. So, 
uh, he has the blaster and yeah uh, so the helmet here is uh, very accurate to the offshore Lego version of it and yeah that's uh, definitely great and you know because the past uh, the past uh, stormtrooper helmets for Leapin they are all just inaccurate so it's definitely nice to see them uh, making an accurate one but uh, yeah uh, so under there you got the angry clone face and uh, the torso you know uh, it's all just normal stormtrooper printing you got uh, all the all the belt uh, for all the ammunition and stuff you got all the armor and yeah but the the lines they are very thick uh, comparing to the Austro Lego one but yeah uh, does have some hip and leg printing and you got the knee pads and this is the back you got the life support system top thing and yeah so let's uh, compare it to the official official lego version of this so here's what it looks like and uh, as you can see the leaping one all the lines there uh, they're all very thick but um, you know uh, it's uh, pretty accurate actually and yeah, but um, aside from that, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for the first order strong prepare. And last but not least, this is the first order special forces Thai pilot. So he has a blaster pistol, and yeah, uh, so the helmet here is um, uh, very cool. You got uh, the tubing, which is inaccurate because uh, it is supposed to, uh, you know, kind of attach or connect to the torso and yeah this thing is solid as well so yeah that that kind of sucks but the the top of the helmet here you have uh two of the red stripes which indicates that uh, this pilot is a special forces type pilot and yeah the helmet is um very accurate but um yeah under there you got the angry clone face and the torso you got uh pretty similar armoring to the uh, storm purple one but uh, you just have the life support system which has a uh, pretty messed up uh, printing you know you got the blue and green uh, but they are supposed to be like um, something like gray color or something I'm not quite sure but yeah um, it, it does kind of suck that they messed it up uh, but yeah so you got the light printing and yeah the light printing is uh, very simple and this is the back very nice but aside from that, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for the first or the TIE pilot. So this is the TIE fighter build itself here. So let's start with the wings. So uh, the wings here, they are identical on each side, just uh, mirrored, I guess. But yeah, so uh, these uh, top and uh, bottom wings, they are uh, attached with uh, these ratcheted uh, pieces. And you can kind of move them around, you, know, you can make them straight, kind of like a normal uh, TIE fighter. And yeah, uh, so the like, end of each of the, of the wings, you got uh, the cannon, which is um, movable, but it's supposed to be just uh, fixed but yeah so uh, the middle the middle part here you got uh, this kind of weird uh, flat back part and you got uh, these two uh, printed pieces and you know uh, you got some design with the grill pieces and stuff and you got the this another cannon which is the heavy laser cannon I believe and you can also move that around but it, uh, it's supposed to be fixed so yeah but uh, the bottom wing uh, nothing too special there but um, yeah uh, uh, aside from that uh, that's uh, pretty much it and the other side of the wing here is uh, it has the exact uh, same um, features I guess and for the back of the ship here you can see uh, how the wings are connect uh, are connected to the middle uh, part so um, they are connected by these uh, technique beams you can see them right there and yeah they are uh, uh, they, they are connected with uh, Technic pieces so yeah it makes the build uh, very stable but um, you know uh, you can kind of see it but yeah so you got uh, these sublight engines right here which have the cluster and you got these separation parts which uh, which I'm not sure how they work I guess but yeah um, and you got uh, the you got these uh, translucent red pieces in there it's uh, very hard to see without a light but yeah you can kind of see them in there but um, you know it looks uh, very nice but they could have extended it out to here uh, to kind of make the, uh, the end for the cluster but 
yeah, it still looks uh, very nice. And you got this part, which is a very good part for holding uh, the ship and playing around with it. So, yeah, but um, you got these uh, two triggers right here, and I'll show you how they work uh, later. But yeah, you got uh, some very simple designs. So, right here, you got this design, and you got the top of the cockpit, which has uh, this uh, printed piece. So, you know, uh, it's a uh, uh, it's uh, not a new piece, but you know it's uh, still very cool. And yeah, but uh, let's get to the front. But yeah, so let's get to the front of the cockpit. So uh, the front of the cockpit here, you got this very nice uh, cockpit design, you know, with uh, the printed uh, windscreen piece for a car in uh, translu uh, translucent red, and it's a pretty nice design. I do like that. And you got uh, the this main kind of middle window, I guess. But yeah, it's uh, just filled with all of these uh, red translucent red pieces but yeah at the side there it's uh, very hard to see you have to move the wings uh, you got uh, these uh, stickers and yeah they're kind of continuation for these uh, red pieces and yeah it does look uh, very nice and uh, here's how the other side looks like and yeah, uh, you got uh, the spring-loaded shooters at the bottom, which is uh, pretty well hidden. So yeah, that's uh, definitely cool. And yeah, uh, so how you activate them is uh, by pushing on the triggers at the back. So you can just push them. Uh, sometimes they do work and sometimes they don't because this is a leap in set. But yeah, seems like they don't work here, but they don't work very often. But yeah, they do uh, kind of fire. So yeah, that's uh, definitely great. But yeah, uh, so uh, on on the side of the cockpit here, you got uh, this kind of witch uh, witch design with this uh, Cree layer, and yeah, um, it's a pretty cool design, and I do like and I do like it. And yeah, so uh, the interior of this vehicle here uh, doesn't have anything, uh, doesn't have anything inside. But uh, you can just open up the cockpit and uh, inside. So here's the interior of the ship here with uh, the canopy piece removed. And yeah, so uh, inside, as you can see, it doesn't have any controls. And yeah, the the pilot figure just sits in there uh, without any uh, studs connected to him. And yeah, uh, there's not uh, there's uh, no clips for uh, Kylo Ren's uh, lightsaber either, which does uh, kind of suck. But you can just uh, put in Kylo Ren in there very easily. And you can close up the cockpit, and you can close up the cockpit with uh, the figure inside as well. So yeah, that's uh, definitely great. But um, yeah, aside from that, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for uh, Kylo Ren's Tie Fighter. So overall conclusion of this set here. So how do I think of it? Um, the figures themselves, I think uh, the figures are great. Uh, Kylo Ren, he has a very nice uh, printing, except uh, the material that they made the cape out of is um, it's uh, it does kind of suck. Uh, they could have improved it, but yeah, I think it's fine. But you just have to remove the cape when you put the figure in the build. But uh, the stormtrooper is um. It's also very nice. Uh, it's great that uh, Leapin improved the mold for the helmet of the figure, and the rest of the printing they are all great. And uh, BB9E, he is uh, pretty good as well. The printing and stuff, uh, they have uh, no problem with it. It's just that uh, they didn't make the mold for the head. Um, and I can understand that because um, they want to save on the cost and stuff. and. Yeah, I think it's uh, fine, and using the BB-8 head is um, accurate enough for the figure. But um, yeah, but, and the type pilot here is um, probably the figure with the bi biggest problem, which is the this tubing here. It doesn't connect with the torso um, because it's supposed to in the original version. And yeah, and also they messed up the printing for these um, uh, this life support uh, system. And uh, you know, uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, this kind of problem they do happen with uh, some of uh, Leapin's uh, printings 
like uh like for the stickers and uh, maybe sometimes the prints for the pieces but yeah figures i think they are fine and for the build itself um I think the build here it's um, pretty good, you know, for uh, all of the pieces and stuff. Uh, they all work fine. It's just that the only problem here is with the spring-loaded shooters. They do not work um, most of the time. Um, maybe they do work uh, sometimes. I'm not sure, but I haven't fired it for quite a while. So yeah, but. Um, the prints and stuff they are all great um, especially the one for the this uh, canopy and yeah the the rest of the prints on the pieces are also great and yeah like um th this uh, overall it's um the build is pretty good if you exclude uh, the spring loaded shooters and yeah um this build here it looks uh, very nice and it works uh, pretty nicely as well so if you uh, want uh, this set in uh, lego uh, but you can't afford it then i definitely recommend you getting the leaping version of it because it's the only alternative version of it and uh, the quality of it is um, also very nice maybe some other brand uh, will make the, this set in the future but um, i'm not sure so yeah but so overall I definitely recommend you getting this set so uh, buy links for the set there in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description so if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here so that's it for, that's it for video thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you very soon